what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we gotta talk about the guy that sent over sixty thousand dollars well really it ended up damn near being over a hundred thousand dollars to be ruby rose's number one fan on only fans now apparently he did an interview on the no jumper podcast with adam and um apparently this was all a ruse all a lie all part of a marketing scheme and he really didn't uh send that much money to her in fact the claims is that he didn't send any money to her this is all part of her marketing team to make her only fans blow up which honestly it actually sounds kind of believable but we're gonna check out what he had to say we're not gonna play the whole podcast um i think it's like it's like 47 minutes of adam and this guy talking to each other about the whole incident i'm just gonna play a little bit of it if you want to check out the full interview to get his side of the story i'm gonna link down the original video down below because i'm not even gonna lie to you he was sounding like the most down bad individual of 2023 but I, I gotta understand what's going on here what did they ask him to do because it just sounded really deranged and them text messages i need an explanation on those text messages that she screenshotted on twitter because that definitely sound obsessive and dangerous so we're gonna see what my guy has to say here appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel let's get right into this one man i know they should be leaked on twitter you can't even see it on reddit you know but uh i i didn't purchase none of her only fans content ruby rose yeah mm. okay so this was all a hoax i got in the situation where i just went and took a picture with ruby rose right like, okay i got paid for it i didn't know exactly what it was for you know i think it was like a promo thing or something or whatever the fuck it was but so he got paid to take a picture with her hmm and i'm guessing that's when they started to go with we can paint him as the ruby rose's number one only fans uh you know spender and i guess they went with that route that's kind of wild that's kind of why hey, we'll pay you to take a picture with her and then we're gonna start creating a narrative <laughs> like that's wild to promote her only fans but nah i i didn't purchase none of her only fans content ruby rose yeah okay so i don't know why I this was all a hoax replayed I got in the situation where I just went and took a picture with Ruby Rose, right? Like, okay. I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was for. You know, I think it was like a promo thing or something or whatever the fuck it was, you know? And uh, I met up with her. I take this picture. Next day, I'm the top. I'm like the fucking OnlyFans top spender. I knew there was like some kind of thing where there was like had to do with the OnlyFans top spender shit, but I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So they made it look like I was her top spender, you know? So they didn't an fill idea you they in gonna... on this beforehand? They didn't say, get... hey, we have this big idea. This is what we're going to so do. So the we're idea was like, they were like, we're going to use your, I mean, they kind of let me know that I was going to be like this, like one of her like subscribers, I guess, on OnlyFans or something like that, right? I was like, oh, okay, that sounds cool. You know, I didn't know it was going to blow up to this big, huge story. You know, they said it was going to be big. And then, you know, I was like, okay, cool. This is kind of cool, whatever the fuck. I was like, when's money going to start coming in? You know, like I was yeah. like. I want some money out of this. And but then, how are you going to get paid for it? And you're saying that they didn't tell you beforehand that this just, was going to be the storyline? Well, I knew there was this OnlyFans and, like, the person's the top spender, but I didn't know the story was going to come out to be bigger than what the story is now, you know? Like, where I'm, like, the obsessive uh, guy who's in love with her. So they just kind of gave him, like, some generalization of, hey, you take this picture, it's going to be part of her OnlyFans promo robot, we'll pay you. But they didn't go into detail on the this obsessive guy that loves her so much. I want to I'm I want to know what's going on with the tattoo part too because he did get a tattoo of her. So I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that as well. So the sixty thousand dollar number was fake. It's a real account, but it's not me. So okay. It's like an well, all right. He didn't spend the 60000 Cool. But I'm trying to figure out who is the mystery man that spent the 60000 Well, actually, no, I'm not trying to figure it out. It's none of my business. But it's still wild to know that someone spent $60,000 in one month to Ruby Rose. Crazy. So it wasn't this guy. So, all right, cool. He's not ultimately down bad. We can, we can absolve him of that crime. But that's still wild that they pretty much put... He's the face 
of that account, even though he doesn't own that account. So everyone thinks he's just a big ass simp. Actual account that's paid into Ruby Rose. So some guy did spend 60 grand on her. It just wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't me. And at the same time, I'm like getting all this like hate and shit. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of getting weird. I was like, what's the next thing that's going to happen? And then I, I did say we should like get some kind of tattoo going, you know, like, you know, like I'll get her name or something tattooed on me. I didn't think I was going to get a portrait. Where's the portrait? On the back of my leg. Okay. So, so you went along with it. You was initially thinking, All right, I'm going to just get her name, but they're in their head. They're trying to paint this really crazy narrative. Getting the name of somebody tatted on you is wild, but you can easily cover that up. Getting the portrait, that's really wild, and it takes a little bit more time to get that covered up. So I don't know if I would have went that far, even just, hey, pay me to get her name tatted on I don't know about that. That's, I don't know. It depends on how much they're trying to pay you. <laughs> like, if they're paying you $60,000 or even then, it's st that's still, you know. I mean, you can always get it covered up, but it's just one of those things. It's like, damn, I don't, how much did they pay you to get the tattoo part? Because now it sounds like you, you're kind of trying to help out with the whole ruse, but I don't know how much they was trying to pay them. So, so now when that, so first I'm the, the top spender, and then it comes out to me being, I didn't know I was a Bitcoin billionaire, you know? I mean, I have, I have some money, you know, but I'm not like, Bitcoin billionaire, you know, so the story is coming out, but I didn't, I didn't hear about that. Side did of the story. you put that narrative out there or did her and her team put that up? Yeah, there? her and her team. I didn't know anything wow. about that. Wow. Because in the messages and even on the profile, it looks like he's in, he's in the Bitcoin. And he has a lot of money. Wow. So he, he didn't even, who, who sent those damn messages or, or could it have been somebody pretending to be obsessive sending those damn messages to really hype up the story to hype up her only fans part you know like and, okay. then, and then i go to the weed shop right and this girl's like hey you're that crypto billionaire guy or whatever which i was like okay that sounds kind of cool but then also you were on true life fucking porn addiction and i was like yeah i was and then i, I didn't know about that afterwards this. but so this, this, were you on true life porn addiction or because no. i saw that too i saw that, that there was like a, like me does it uh, oh that wasn't you at all i saw the picture and i just assumed that it was i wow, know he's nothing real holy shit no so i mean the so, so it's somebody that looks like him oh, damn bro he's getting just <laughs> his character is getting fucking destroyed <laughs> for a cup i don't know how much they paid they better pay this man some racks a lot of racks bro because his whole character is being destroyed. Yeah, on one hand, people are looking at you as this ripped crypt, or this rich crypto uh, guy. But at the same time, people are also looking at you because you you got money and trying to take advantage of you and looking at you as a big-ass simp. Like, what the hell? I know about the OnlyFans account, top spender shit, kind of, but I didn't know it was going to be as big as this was going to be you know i didn't even know what, what was going on and then i get the tattoo and then it turns out to be i'm like some obsessive like stalker guy named brandon which was the guy on true life uh -huh. where he was addicted to porn and that's why like in the messages it says brandon only fan creep or some shit oh i wake up i see this this post and it's like the tattoo one right and then i'm like seeing all the the text messages and i'm like I didn't even like read it. Like I seen some of it and it seemed like it was really bad. So I like just turned my phone off. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I don't know half like, I don't know how they generated that message, but that shit kind of like made me go crazy for a few days. It was making you go crazy. Not crazy, but like anxiety, you know? So it was uh, well, like, okay. On one hand, it's kind of cool to be famous. Yeah. On the other hand, if they're not, no, that's not, nothing about this was cool. Even if they did pay him, however much they paid him, nothing about this is cool. Because essentially they said, you look like a Brandon that would obsess over Ruby Rose. That's it. Except you're into crypto, you got some money. So they add that extra part, but you look like they're basically saying you look like a loser that would be obsessed over her. We're going to use you. You're the perfect demographic and we're going to want you to do all this extra stuff. I actually get a tattoo of her face. We're going to pay you. Like basically they're playing with your name. They're playing with your name. 
And I don't know if he got compensated enough for someone to play with your name like that. That's wild. Painting a narrative of you that's totally different from who you actually are as a person, that's probably less fun. Yeah. Because, I mean, there was all these different narratives. Like, I, I'm a Bitcoin billionaire. I'm a porn addict. I simp. I don't know. Love Ruby Rose so much that I would get a tattoo of her. Uh huh. So, yeah. Okay. I want to speak to all the people out there who are looking at what you've just said and they're feeling kind of dumb because they're thinking, holy shit, I can't believe I got fooled. Nothing is ever real on the internet anymore. I can't believe that I got tricked. I was in the same exact boat. There was a guy, I won't say his name, but he's very, very high up at OnlyFans. Like he works in OnlyFans corporate. And he was here. Me and Leonard were doing a meeting with him talking about some stuff OnlyFans related. And we obviously ended up bringing up your situation because it came out like that day. And the guy kind of rolls his eyes at me and he's like, yeah, that shit's not real. And I immediately felt the same way that everybody at home feels. Which is I felt like a fucking dummy for falling for it. And even earlier that day, I had said to Lena, I'm like, you know how easy this would be for us to one up, right? All we got to do is find some guy who looks a little off and then make a fake screenshot that says that he spent 150000 or $200,000 and we could kind of like leapfrog the news cycle and replace Lamar with some other guy and say, oh, look how much this guy. And, you know, it's like there's a yeah. constant quest to like fake wow. shit to get attention in terms of OnlyFans. So I guess on one hand, we shouldn't be surprised. But on the other hand, damn, Ruby Rose. It, it made That's me tricky. think a lot, I didn't, too. I didn't know that you were going to bust that move out. Yeah, and, like, I mean, they were, they were like, kind of, like, hinting things. Like, it, it, when, when the team was talking to me or the agency or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know what, the, what it's called. They weren't, like, telling me everything that was going on. So it was, like, I kind of had, like, after I was, like, realizing what was going on, I was picturing it in my head after a while. And I was, like, this is what they're doing. They're, like, trying to – they got the character, which is me. And then now they're going to figure out something else. To That's when the true life shit came in. So now they were able to do this. And I don't know. You got to respect it in a weird yeah. way. But do you feel somewhat, what, like taken advantage of? I mean, once I realized how much money she was making off of this, and I was like, okay, like, I, I, when I got the tattoo, they asked me how much I wanted for, like, her people, her team or whatever. Wow. Asked me, what do I think is a good price for the tattoo? Now, I was, like, saying 15 to 20K, you know? So I feel I feel like I I knew it was gonna happen with this. I knew it was gonna like go out of proportion, and maybe it would make me look like a, I, I thought about it. Maybe it was- fifteen to twenty k. Hell nah, bro. Hell nah. That's still low. That's still low. Fuck that. I don't condone doing this, but if you go, we need M's. M's. Yeah. Six figures and up. Nothing less than six figures. Six figures and up. I know you can say it's a tattoo, but she about to make some bank off this. Six figures and up. Preferably M's. But if I had to choose a face, that's different, bro. That's that's not no name. That's a whole face. Six figures and up. Easily, bro. Six figures and up. Because that way I can flip that money and then cover the tattoo. Easy. Because I don't know if they... Say he had to keep it. He just had to get it. Once you get it, wait for that head shit to fully heal. Cover that bitch up. <laughs> all you got to do. That's really all you got to do. And now you six figures plus up. Granted, I don't know. It's still, it's a wild thing. He already has tattoos, so it kind of works. But damn. It was going to make me look like a creep and shit. And, uh, but I mean, I have the most random tattoos on my body that it, I was like, okay, I could do this, and I could it, pull it, it off. It fits, right. but yeah, I hope he got and, paid and more road, than that. Maybe five, ten years from now, people are going to say, what's that a tattoo of? You're going to say, oh, it's a hot, light-skinned yeah, girl. Like, they might not even remember Ruby Rose, although maybe ex. she'll also be, like, the most famous person in America. Maybe they will remember. Yeah. I'll just be like, that's my ex. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> She's dead to me now, though. Wait, really? That's how you feel? No, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. No, I mean, honestly, like, when I when I met her... Well, yeah, I'm not going to play the whole thing. We We kind of got the gist of it. That's wild. So, in a sense, it's all a big marketing plan. It's all a big marketing scheme. This is how they do it to get their, you know, their clientele more money, more subscribers. That's basically what we just heard here. So, it was all a big ruse. So, hey, my guy here, 
He is not the biggest simp in the world. Granted, they played him. Not played him, but they definitely made him look like the biggest simp of 2023. They made him look that way. And him getting a tattoo, once again, don't know how much he said, 15 or 20K or something like that. My boy, it better have been six figures and up and then get that shit covered up. I definitely would get that. I would. As soon as I got that money, that money hits, it's in my account and it can't go nowhere else. Getting that shit covered up. Something. You got to get something out of it because they literally for the past week, two weeks have been clowning this guy. I've even made videos because I really, truly believe that there's somebody out there that's willing to do this type of send this type of money and do this type of stuff just to barely get attention. And apparently maybe that that sixty thousand dollars that was sent in one month that may have been a real person or that could have just been a a, a screen, uh, you know, someone photoshopping it. Either way, there are people out there that will pay a lot of money to people that won't give them a day, that won't give them no time, that won't give them no energy. That is real. So I'm one of the people that did not believe this. I will believe that he did it. But now that it came out that it was all just part of a marketing plan, do I feel any type of way? No, because there are still people out there that do that type of stuff. At least it's not him from what we know, from what he's saying. So, you know, hopefully he was able to get some extra money out of it because ain't no way in hell I'm going <laughs> to risk my integrity and my my... <laughs> my my pride to be destroyed <laughs> online and around the world for someone and, and i'm not even getting no real compensation you know like that's that's kind of all and even then you know sir some good all money ain't good money sometimes your integrity and pride is, should be a little it should be worth more than just 20 15 to 20k you know what i'm saying granted I, he didn't know they were gonna say all of this and do all of this but he kind of knew that you know what i'm saying they were gonna kind of play with his image making him basically seem like look at this loser basically and he he was the one that suggested the tattoo so like yeah he, he plays a part in it a bit for the money aspect but at the same time nah man i got too much pride <laughs> to, to just be cool with just that you're gonna have to compensate me handsomely so comment down below let me know i want to know how much money would you be okay being labeled as this only fans stalker or this only fans weirdo if said person of the only fans management team gave you money how much money would it take for you to do this let me know down below i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping it with me see y'all next one peace